Welcome scientists, it's Miss Gisa. Today we're going to learn some more about the pumpkin life cycle. If you haven't already watched our other videos about the pumpkin life cycle, be sure to do so. Today's story is called From Seed to Pumpkin and it's written by Wendy Pfeffer and illustrated by James Graham Hale. When spring winds warm the earth, a farmer plants hundreds of pumpkin seeds. Every pumpkin seed can become a baby pumpkin plant. Underground, covered with dark, moist soil, the baby plants begin to grow. As the plants get bigger, the seeds crack open. Stems sprout up, roots dig down. Inside the roots are tubes. Water travels up these tubes, the way juice goes up a straw. In less than two weeks from planting time, green shoots poke up through the earth. These shoots grow into tiny seedlings. Two leaves called seed leaves uncurl on each stem. They reach up toward the sun. Sunlight gives these leaves energy to make food. Like us, plants need food to grow. But green plants do not eat food as we do. Their leaves make it. To make food, plants need light, water, and air. Leaves catch the sunlight. Roots soak up rainwater. And little openings in the leaves let air in. Using energy from the sun, the leaves mix the air with water from the soil to make sugar. This feeds the plant. This process is called photosynthesis. Can you say that big word with me? Photosynthesis. Yes. Soon, broad prickly leaves with jagged edges unfold on the stems. The new leaves are rough and prickly but the seed leaves are smooth and rounded. The seed leaves dry up. Now the new leaves make food for the pumpkin plant. Each pumpkin stem has many sets of tubes. One tube in each set takes water from the soil up to the leaves so they can make sugar. The other tube in each set sends food back down so the pumpkin can grow. The days grow warmer the farmer tends the pumpkin patch to keep weeds out. Weeds take water from the soil. Pumpkin plants need that water to grow. Pumpkin plants don't stand up tall. As the stems grow longer, they sprawl all over the ground. Before long, twisted, tangled vines cover the pumpkin patch. Soon, flower buds appear on the vines. After each bud opens, its orange petals grow bigger and bigger. They look like bright orange umbrellas. During the heat of the day, the flowers close. They open during the cool nights and early mornings. The bright orange flowers attract swarms of bees. The bees buzz about carrying yellow pollen from the male flowers to the female flowers. Now pumpkins can grow. The petals wither away. Where the flowers bloomed, tiny, hard fruits begin to grow. Hundreds of these cling to the vines. The days grow hot. All summer, the warm sun and the cool rain help the tiny fruits grow larger and larger. Soon summer is over. The corn stalks next to the pumpkin patch turn brown. Leaves on trees turn red, orange, and yellow. Pumpkins change color too. As they ripen, they change from green to yellow, then to orange. In just four months, small, flat, white pumpkin seeds have grown into big, fat, orange pumpkins. The pumpkins are ripe and round with lumps and bumps. They come in all sizes and shapes, and they're waiting in the autumn sun. Some pumpkins will be carved into jack-o'-lanterns for Halloween. Some will be baked into pumpkin pies for Thanksgiving. Colorful leaves turn brown. Winter begins to blow, and soon the trees are bare. The farmer looks out over the pumpkin patch, 
where only a few dead vines remain. But when spring winds warm the earth, once again, he will plant hundreds of pumpkin seeds. And once again, they will grow from seed to pumpkin. All right, let's practice our pumpkin life cycle together. All right, my little scientists. I hope you enjoyed the story of the life cycle of a pumpkin. Now we're going to use cards to recreate the life cycle of a pumpkin and to practice the order um, that the life cycle goes in. Now you will also have cards that are similar to mine so that you can do this at home. Who remembers how a life cycle of a pumpkin starts? That's right, starts with a seed, just like the life cycle of a plant and just like the life cycle of an apple. All right, what comes next? Yes, a tiny little sprout grows up above the soil. What do you think comes next? Yes, the leaves grow bigger and pumpkins grow on a vine and the vine grows bigger. Then, just like you've seen if you've watched our gardening videos, the flowers emerge and the flowers of a pumpkin look a little bit like the flowers that we have on our cucumber vine. They're both vines. Then a little green pumpkin starts to grow. Remember, fruit grows from the flower. And then the pumpkin gets bigger. That's right. And when it's big and orange, you can pick the pumpkin. It's ready to pick and you can make things like pumpkin pie or pumpkin soup from your pumpkin. Now it's your turn to recreate the life cycle with your cards. Have fun. Thanks for joining us. Remember to like and subscribe to support our channel.